Frank, you have to come back. Okay, we are into our first game of the year. Uh, not the year, the week <laughs> for week nine. Uh, we have exciting game, a finals rematch. Uh, unfortunately, we'll only see one this season. Seasons past, we would have seen two, but only one this season. But uh, both teams are firing in all, all center, cylinders, so I'm sure it'll be great. We have Lick My Claws versus Hive Mind. Lick My Claws coming in with an 8 0 record. Hive Mind coming in on a 4-4 four four record, but I think it's off a three-game win streak. So, uh, they're doing very well for themselves as of late. Uh, and with Lick My Claws, business as usual, they're coming in, with, coming in with 11 points per game. Hive Mind not far behind with 10.3. For stats to watch, Lick My Claws is 14, and 18, 14 of 18 on questions where they've used their lifeline. So... Very, very good usage of their phone a friend and double throughout the season, which is always uh, a good thing for a winning formula. And then on the other side, Hive Mind, one of only three teams with Chicken Hawks and uh, Hypnotoads to have above a 50% question percentage on steel questions, which again can only help you win games because if your team, if the opponent doesn't want to take some points, it's always good if you can. And then lastly, Lick my calls, defeated Frankchester United ten to seven, um, and Hive Mind defeated Team Prepism twelve to five. Let's get into the game. First category: National Parks. Anyone like to double? Nope. No. This feels no. doubtful. No doubles here. Of course, we're coming off the the back of the All Star game, so I check that out for. Whoever is going to download that. Um, okay, like my call is your question. The Petrified Forest and Saguaro National Parks can be found in what states? What states? I should really know these by now, considering I've made national parks questions before, like read through the list. I'm thinking, and oh, fuck, now I don't want to say it. No. I'm between two states. There's like five options total. Good point. One, one is. No, I don't know how to contextualize this for you. Try for us. Is one in like more of a Great Plainsy state? Not really. Okay, then never mind. No. Cigarro is the I'm not that. So I don't think it could be Great Plainsy. Yeah. Also, I'm between the state whose basketball team just shut down for the season and the state that you used to say you were going to go to war with in middle school. You were going to invade. I know the first one. I don't know the second one. I think it's the second one. And second, that was you. I was Ten seconds. <laughs> You, All right, Utah, final answer. You, you were, you Utah, final answer that. is incorrect, not Utah. I'm not hating Mormons. What are do you guys thinking, think? Like New Mexico I thought Arizona? it was Utah. <laughs> you think New Mexico, Eli? Or like Arizona, like some kind of southwestern state. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I don't know. Spence, what do you think? I think New Mexico might be the one that had their basketball team shut down. Fuck it, send it. Send it. I, thought, I thought maybe Louisiana. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go with New Mexico, final answer. Go with New Mexico. That is incorrect. Is this would California? be Arizona. Ah, Arizona. Oh, sorry, guys. No, you're good. So there. Your question, Hive Mind. In which state would you find Olympic and North Cascades National Parks? Joe, isn't Washington the Olympic state? That sounds right. And that just seems yeah. You know, that's my best guess, dude. For both so both of those sound. I mean, you I'm like, pretty you sure they're state Mormon to you? the Olympic state. The Cascades are mountains, right? That's it's got to be somewhere around the west. I think so. Yeah, I just get confused because one of the like famous Adirondack mountains is Cascade, but yeah, I think that's also a mountain range. This wouldn't be like I Maine. Think, I don't know. I think we should just send Washington. Okay, do it. I like Olympic Park, Olympic State, Washington. Final answer. Washington is correct. It's one point uh, for Hive Mind, Matt. I I know you're shaking your head. 
the game will be balanced in the course of things. I I understand why you're yeah, shaking worry. your head. Yeah, don't worry. There'll be an NBA category where we get like a guy from like 19, you know, 12. Okay. You okay. Guys, we're you going guys back get, to Oscar Robertson. You, you guys, being, you guys uh, get uh, oh, who was the 19 or the 2019 like defensive player of the year? We're gonna get okay. Paul Jones. We're like this guy is so. credited with inventing the layup <laughs> in 1911. Okay. That would be well. <laughs> We have uh, we have two thousands to present Serie A. Uh, oh, great category. I will notify you ahead of time that both the players that you guys will be being asked about are inactive players. Uh, I was told that that should be clarified. All right. I, I don't uh, think we're anyone gonna like to double. double. I don't want to. I don't think we're going to double, but I love the representation here. No. Okay, not doubling. Like my calls, your question. Since 2000, this Italian has led Serie A in goals and goal scored for two separate teams, first with Fiorentina and more recently with Verona when he tied with Mauro Icardi. All right, I assure you I don't know the answer to this. I can think of some Italians. I tell you, it's probably not Balotelli. That's all I got. That's the, that's the only Italian soccer set I got. We'll specify more I, recently. I know, than the last I know someone that scored a bunch of goals for Fiorentina, but I don't remember him ever playing for Verona. I don't remember him being good that recently. And I also don't remember... Again, they're else. inactive. I, I think I know who you're thinking of, and I can't think of anyone else, so that might be... I, I don't know who you're thinking of, so they, I think you should probably go with different. that one. Gomez? Gomez is not Italian. He's German. Oh, yeah. It says he's Italian. Whoops. Um, Sharon, I think you should go with the guy that you, you're thinking of. I don't think yeah. we're going to think of anything I'm better. agreeing with three different people. I'm going to go with uh, Giuseppe Rossi, final answer. Giuseppe Rossi is incorrect. Other side. I was I was thinking him too, but I'm pretty sure he he's back playing again. So he's going to be pissed if that was the for? answer. He's, uh, he's playing for like a Serie C team or a Serie B team. Um, oh. What do you think about – I don't know if he played for these two teams. I just know he's Italian, bounced around, scored a lot of goals. What do you think about Antonio Cassano? Oh. Unless, you have, unless you have somebody you remember better. Cause I just can't remember. No, I know better. Answer totally five. Antonio I know Cassano you used to fuck around in the Serie A a lot. Uh, we're gonna go yeah. Antonio Cassano. Final answer. That is incorrect. This would be one Luca Tony. Fuck, oh, oh, no. Jesus. Luca. You know what his team of the season in like FIFA 16 was. Gross. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, he was until, after, until it was the steal timer. I I thought of him. My other thought, like 45 I, pace. I thought it would be. <laughs> Dude, actually, this, no. You get him in the air though. Yeah, this might be the answer that I'm thinking of. So I'm not gonna say okay. it. Be Your question, Hive Mind. What Italian player was the most recent to lead the league in goal scored in back to back years during his time with Udin? Is it Dinatale? Dan- yeah. Wait, what, who'd you say? Dinatale? Dinatale. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're going to go Dinatale, final answer. Dinatale is correct. This is Antonio Dinatale. So so. That be- one, I, I divulge. Well, no, I actually made these. I made these, but. I diverged. I, uh, I let him. I think too high mind. Oh, okay. Well, I, again, Ethan vetted these, so if uh, he he told me that um, thing, were fine. he told he, he told Neil the fix was in Hive Minds <laughs> had cleared the check. I cleared. specifically asked him to vet these as like to the. The best thing about that one is just that like, Tale like is a Udinese legend through and through, whereas Luca Toni was Luca like, Tony bounced like, around. He's a Bayern. Legend, okay, I, I okay. okay. Uh, you know, yeah, let's pile on yeah. Neil. <laughs> okay, Fucking so this is the Billy Butler question easy. originally, but uh, oh, we have... Is this a niche? Yeah, yes. yeah. So this oh. is 2000s to present MLB stars. This is uh, what was going to be a question that was in the All-Star game. So your question, look at my goals. This utility man infielder played the majority of his years with the Blue Jays and Diamondbacks, earning himself an All-Star appearance with the Blue Jays and two Silver Sluggers, one with each team. I think he primarily played second base. Uh, that's something I meant to include. Oh, man. Steven knows it. Gosh. <laughs> this is not ideal. No, I have one guy in my head, but he's more a third baseman. The guy that struck out all the time. I remember him on the Diamondbacks. I don't have shit. <laughs> I've been so cold on my dishes lately. It's been... I'm, I'm really not being much help. With, uh... I'm gonna get stomped in this game. Oh, Jesus. This is not bad. Well, it's not through 4 0. I, I got nothing, we, man. I thought we could all contribute on this, but 
none of us know this. That's not if true. I could if I could have just gone to my bris, none of this would have happened. <laughs> um, Is that what you actually had to go to? No. I'm gonna need an answer soon. Pass on our own niche. Oh, oh. did not see that coming. Damn. <laughs> Incorrect. Other side. Thirty seconds. I have no idea. No idea. All right, we're gonna say pass I can't even and Stephen Cook. Yeah, pass, final answer. Pass, incorrect. Okay, uh, this is one. Aaron Hill. Aaron Hill. Hill posted a uh, pretty solid season with both teams. Didn't do well. MVCS outside of those teams. name. Yeah. Uh, okay, 1900s director of filmography, also known as 20th century director of filmography. Your question, hive mind. Milos Forman. I've been nominated for Best Director three times in the 20th century, only winning twice, once for Amadeus and the other for th- this film from the 1970s. Oh, fuck. Milos Forman. Uh, okay, so... I think I know it's still Amadeus. Oh, fuck. Best Director twice. Damn it. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's just not going to come to me. Ten seconds. Um, I need something. Uh, uh, bad I'm going to have to take it's a pass. Right is incorrect. Other side. Fuck. That's a hard what one. Movie I a... Is Star Wars. Fah, ask question. <laughs> it's probably that. Uh, well, you remember Milos, the tennis instructor from Seinfeld, who actually wasn't good at tennis? Did, did he like any movies? <laughs> <laughs> well, we should do one of, the, uh, one of the Vincent picks from the Seinfeld movie store. Uh... Uh, oh, what's the movie called? Um, I just don't fucking know. I forget. Star Wars, final answer. Sleepless in Seattle. Star Wars is incorrect. Spencer, if I told you it was a book adaptation, would that help? No. Is one flew over know. the cuckoo's nest. Oh, he did that. I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was actually the other way around, and Fa said that Amadeus was very easy. So yeah, I wasn't trying to make that's the these, one. These weren't meant to be intentionally know, hard. So. It was going to be good question. Like Butler and Amadeus, but uh, fortunately. Yeah, Things when I use that right. category, okay. he's like he's one of the people that I would just hope doesn't come up. But okay, MC okay. Breaks. <laughs> um, mid-season firings. This is an NFL category about coaching coaches. I'm actually pretty good at NFL coaches compared to other stuff, but oh fuck, we might not get an MLB question because the Billy Butler one was a niche. So yeah. I, I feel good about this, but I don't. I don't want to double. No high mind double. This would be a pretty risky double calls. I would feel safe for doubling on whatever the other major sport is, or maybe even the college sport. If it was yeah, like, I, I, I would say let's wait if you don't know what sport it is. But I do feel good about this. Okay, so neither team doubling. We're at 0-2. to two. Again, was not trying to make this a difficult game, but we'll see. Right, if... we're, we're just dumb. It's right. in the papa. Easy yeah. Teams rebound here. Your question, look my calls. What former Rams coach served as the interim head coach for the Giants after the team canned Ben McAdoo? Jeff Fisher? That's exactly yeah. what I thought. It has to be. Because think about it. He was the coach of the Rams for such a long time. I don't see how it could be someone else. Like, because that person would be so old. Yeah. I think it has to be. Although, yeah. Because he was with the Titans, and then he probably was not a head coach around this time. Because Ben McAdoo was probably fired in, like, what, like 2018 or something? Maybe even later? Sounds right. I could be way off on that, but I think it's Jeff Fisher. That's my best guess. I, let me put it this way. I can't name another Rams coach besides Sean McVay. I, 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 yeah, same, same. Yeah. I, I, it seems right. It's, it seems like it's got a good chance. All right. Jeff Fisher, final answer. That is incorrect. Jesus. Other wow. side. It's brutal. Oh, God. Austin, you have any idea? No, I don't. I literally only know Jeff Fisher. Interim. Jets. I think I can kind of picture this dude, but um, the only other – Actually, I don't know if he was ever a Rams head coach. I was thinking like Wade Phillips, but he was recently a DC. He, I think he was a coordinator. Like, he was a defense yeah, coordinator. and I just don't. I, I don't know, dude. 
I just right. I can picture it. Yeah, we're going to have to go with the <laughs> answer. Okay, that is also incorrect. This is Steve Spagnolo. Oh, I was going to say, really? No, fuck. Steve he was, Spagnolo. He was a Giants interim? He was an interim for a he, he was, And he, he didn't was get the job? I only he was a coordinator the there. Yeah, he was a coordinator there and then took over. Okay. I bind your question. Um, what future <laughs> Chargers coach, future relative to the firing, took over for the uh, head coach position after Rex Ryan was fired by the Bills? Austin, how do you feel about Anthony Lynn? I actually do know this. Wait, no, I don't. I'm wrong. Wait. I have, I have a guess. He was a Chargers coach? Uh, the only one yes. I can think of is fucking... Was it Norv Turner? Norm Turner or someone? Oh, it could be him, That's too. the only coach I know. And then, obviously, Staley. Or yeah, Anthony Staley. Lynn was Whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah. And I could I see mean, him taking over because he he's like a... He's a running backs guy for sure, but I think he was a like a offensive coordinator. And I could see him being the Bills OC. Yeah, we'll go with Anthony Lynn, final answer. Anthony Lynn is correct. It is Anthony Lynn. Wow. I thought it was North Turner. I thought it was North Turner, too. Okay. I thought it was uh, uh, somewhat Brian Dayball. Okay. Car brands. Uh, <laughs> tell you it's going to be your usual see a car, identify the brand. Anyone I don't like my chances here. <laughs> no. I really do want to double this. Uh, when they do this in the dozen all the time, I've never gotten one wrong, but this game is crazy, so we're not doubling. Again, it. game's not supposed to be. I'm, I'm just going to say this. Keep clarifying. Like, <laughs> Neil, we were just dumb, man. It's okay. <laughs> hey, we're, hey, I just, I'm, try, I'm trying to, game, it, you know, I'm trying to improve your confidence. Work. I'm trying to improve your confidence. You guys, uh, you guys yeah, I know exactly you guys what we paid like for. It. It's going down okay. exactly how we wanted it. Anyone? Taylor made to marginalize me. What if we never get a question right? There, nine and zero is a bad look for the league. We all know it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Qualls has spoken since round one. I don't think I. I don't. Are you I guys? Guess are, no one's no doubling. One Qualls kind of taking the day off. No one's doubling. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I thought this no, was like, a day for the All Stars, so I, I, I didn't show up. Uh, no, who, okay. who played in the game today that you went to? Uh, Charleston and Stony Brook. There's not a oh, Charleston's Stony a good team this year. The um, not very good. Charles, Charleston plays bro. zero defense. Zero okay. defense. Uh, no doubles. Okay, like my calls. Your question. Cat house yeah, all lifelines on the board. Phone offense included. What is the make of this car brand? Um, there you go. Hopefully, I etched everything out. And Get it doesn't say. Lexus. Lexus, final answer. They Thank finally you. got on the board. Oh, it is that a Lexus. So sick that was wrong. <laughs> it was a December <laughs> to remember. December to remember sales event. Oh, That's on the answer there. I have mind your question to extend this back to three. What does it make of this car? Those Hopefully. are different cars. I got it. <laughs> yes. I, I don't think it's a Volvo. I think it's an Audi. Look at the look at the grill. I don't know shit about cars. I just feel like the Audi yeah, symbol could go on there. Bro, to me, that looks like a fucking right. Subaru Outback, so I don't... But the other one was Lexus. I just feel like no, no, these no, are both, like, luxury talking. SUVs. Could it be, like, Infinity? Maybe. <laughs> I I just feel like that lace work up front, I could be... I mean, I don't know. That's all I'm going off of. But, no, I don't like that. And, and the fact that theirs was Lexus, I'm also using that. It's an argument. 10 seconds. Going second advantage here. Yeah, we're going to go with Audi, final answer. I'm going to go with Audi. Incorrect to Damn get it. a point back here. It's, it's infinity. infinity. It's infinity. Fuck. Damn, sorry, fellas. Infinity, final answer. Infinity to get one back. Shit. Spencer's got to Spencer's this, gotta uh, take this, this random car approach. brand treasure trove of knowledge in your brain coming from? <laughs> you see cars in the road. It's not very hard to remember them. <laughs> I just don't pay attention it, it, it to them. I like... I drive like there's no cars on the road. Well, some of us drive looking at the road instead of looking at the radio, like in front of our. Seat. <laughs> that sounds so boring. My, my okay. I'm sure, I'm action. sure Spencer would want to take my approach, where if Ethan <clears throat> says something that I don't expect him to know at all, I would just go with that because usually it's right. But I didn't cost here you we go. go. I fucking got the peanut gallery making comments. <laughs> what, what is this? What is this category? It's one question is going to be about. College stadiums. The other one's going to be about arenas. So it's a college question. This is your college question. It's 
Like it just separated one is football stadiums, one is arenas. Oh, I don't want to give away that. I'm fucking making well, mistakes. Just for... No double. That means there has to be an NBA question, Qualls. But I kind of want to double this. Yeah, like, like get ready for your Cora question. I don't, I don't think they have a great chance to steal it, and I feel like we. I mean, if we're not getting it, I find it very hard to think they would. You get a power five football stadium. I think there's like an eighty-five percent chance we get it right. Yep. Noah, what do you think? Qualls does know everything about the NBA, but if you, I think this is an okay double too. Ah, uh, Qualls, what do you think? I do know everything about the. Let's go with this one. I think. I think this. Double this. I think this is, Yeah, this is where we. How, come how do you feel about basketball? Did you get the basketball one? And for like basketball arenas, college basketball arenas. Uh, not great, but because we, like, we don't know which one we did. Okay, well, we will not double. We will not double. Not doubling this one. Okay, so to tie it up for the moment here, which of the following foot or the following football stadiums are located in what state? Kinnick Stadium and Jack Trice Stadium. This was a good no double. Yeah. I have a random guess. Just say it. This could be stupid. Washington. I feel like Kinnick's like Washington State and then. I don't think so. I think it's like. I mean, it could well be. Like, I have no I will specify. Everything is power five in this. Okay. Where Where does Oregon play? Oregon, I won't say it in case it's the next question, but I know where they play, and it's not either of these. Okay, fair enough. I know where Oregon State plays, too, so there's no way if it's power mm-hmm. five. It's Oregon. Okay. Um, and I know where Washington plays, so I don't think it can be. I think it's like – I think it's a Big Ten state. Oh, you are right. Could be well, Indiana. Going to need Oregon. something. Indiana? Going to need something. Indiana, final answer. Indiana is incorrect. Other side. Go to the Big Ten State then. Yeah, throw one out there. Oh fuck! I know what it is. Nebraska. Kyle, you should know what it is. I know. Iowa. Kansas. I like Nebraska. Okay. Then we'll do that. Doesn't Nebraska final answer. Oh, you said it, Spencer. This is Iowa. This is Damn. Iowa. Homo. Uh, you, know, Iowa. You, you hate when they wave to the kids at the hospital. How do you not know the name oh, of this I, thing? It's, that's not what I hate. I hate when they do that and then start <laughs> booping like okay. guys with a broken I was going to say, I thought, I thought it was notable for that reason. Also, like, how many schools, like, really have two teams? Two Dancing teams. around it. Okay. Uh, your question, hive mind. Following arenas are located in what state? Chrysler, Chrysler, Chrysler Center, and Breslin Center. I have no idea, so I'm glad we didn't double this. I got it. I Should got we phone it. a friend? I think it's a risky phone a friend. Who Steven would know knows. this? <laughs> I, well, I think we should save it for the next sports category. Um, given that that was Iowa, let's work from from that. So maybe not a Big Ten. Indoor, so let's think of like basketball. I have two basketballs. This could be Indiana. Do you have logic behind that or do you just <laughs> a lot of there's a lot of you. there's a lot of basketball schools in Indiana near it's you know gonna need something gonna, soon. Not the Big Ten. We're gonna go with Indiana final answer. That is the Big Indiana. Ten. Indiana Incorrect. Other side. This is oh. Michigan. That's I think what I thought. Chrysler's where Michigan plays, right? I'm all, yeah, I'm pretty sure Breslin Center is Michigan State. That's what I was thinking. Sure. Um, I feel like I should know the name of Michigan State Stadium in basketball. I don't. So. so, Am I just dumb and I'm thinking Chrysler's Michigan because Chrysler is a kind of car? I was thinking that Michigan. about well, myself. Differently, so don't think it's that. But actually, Breslin Center does sound like Michigan State. So go with I'm it. pretty sure it is. Yeah, I like Michigan. That was my first thought. Go with it. All right. Michigan, final answer. Yeah. They tied up with that. This is Michigan. It would be Michigan and Michigan State. So, low scoring affair, but tied up. All lifelines on the board. We get into next round of niches. Oh. I believe in you. Walls. I'm the like a stolen double. Your question. Finish the lyrics of this song off yeah. Cool Patrol. Oh, 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 fuck. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Okay, there you go. Think okay. Uh, it's not the lines cool don't. Though. It 
it that's isn't. from first date you fucking idiot um the cool patrol album the cool patrol album okay, okay. <laughs> i specified that but um Oh, this is all right. This is difficult, actually. Um, oh my God! God is ass. Yeah, because there, there are a few. Very, let me think. Let me cook. All right. Kingdom Hearts meme. Um. Uh, we're young and alive and crossing state lines. Final answer. Give him finish the lyrics because oh, he wow. gets it right. Is there like a bunch yeah, that sounds very similar to that, but the words are a it, little bit the, different? The chorus, yeah, the chorus is the beginning. Like the chorus, they call it the chorus, but it's different. I think it just Wait, Neil, do you have to thing. listen to the songs for this category? Neil, Bro, what Neil the did you give them two? Absolutely not. I'm I'm sorry, sorry. Oh, God. I was going to say, I'm so sorry. No, for you. I would not subject myself to that. I go on Spotify and look at what has a lot of views, and then I go on Genius and I look up the song. That is Neil, Neil, all did you I did. Two okay. points? You only gave us one I point. did. I, okay. I did. It just, didn't, it just didn't show. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so oh, yeah. tie, tie it up back here for Hive Mind. Your question. In book two, second season, a search party consisting of Tenzin, Bumi, and Kia is put together after who gets lost at the Southern Air Temple? Oh, it's one of the kids. Uh, I have two answers. Uh, uh, I'm going to go Iki, final answer. He stays cooking. Yeah, it is yeah. Iki. Has he ever he missed stays- Stop blocking goosebumps. So. Put the league on notice. Stop one of the blocking most under- goosebumps. Cora is the niche to block. One of the most underrated niches in this league. I did think about he, blocking. Oh, he fuck. is he is like unreal good. Uh, uh, okay, actor uh, awards. This is pertaining double. to individual. Oh, love this for us. Yeah, yeah. We've been <laughs> ducking double. and diving the whole game. We're about to swing right here. We're Should doubling. We double? uh, yeah. God damn it. They're doubling. This is the jab. Okay, not doubling like my calls. I'm assuming. So your question. Despite being nominated for Best Actor Awards in films like Invictus and Shawshank Redemption, this actor has only won a Best Supporting Actor uh, Award for his role in Million Dollar Baby. Does, do you guys know any single actor in Million Dollar Baby? I do not, but I know one actor who was in Invictus and Shawshank Redemption. Is it Tim Robbins? No, it's Morgan Freeman. <laughs> oh, well, fair enough. Oh, yeah, he's Nelson Mandela. I'm stupid. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Uh, I've never it, seen Million Dollar Baby. I have no idea if he's in it. What are the odds there's another actor in both those movies when we already know that, like, who could possibly have been nominated for Best Actor in Shawshank Redemption besides Tim Robbins? And I don't think he's an Invictus. Is Tim Robbins the white guy who was also a prisoner? Yes. Okay. Yes, he's also a nuclear louche. Yeah? Andy Dufresne. Overrated movie, Noah. Bullshit. Get out of here with that. On uh, back walls, Noah's based his entire personality off of the Kevin Costner speech from Bold Ten Bright, so seconds. Morgan Freeman? <laughs> Morgan Freeman? Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman, final answer. That is correct. I'm sure they're it happy to have easy. a point on actors. I could have sworn that was going to be wrong. Okay. I so, the game is ramping up to, for two points and to take the lead. Your question. I find. This actress has been nominated for Best Supporting Actress in both Hidden Figures and The Shape of Water, but only one for her role in The Help. Is this uh, uh, Viola Davis? Yeah, I think so. Let's 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 sit on it. Let's sit on it. When did Eli get good at trivia? It's very annoying. It was like mid last super, season. I'm not super confident in that, Spence. Yeah, I've got someone else in mind. But uh, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. Do you know that she was in all of those for sure? No. Okay. All right, then I'm going to take our lives I, into my hands then, okay? Yep, do it. 15. I, I really apologize if this goes the wrong way for us. Octavia Spencer, final answer. That's it. He stays cooking on the double on movies. It is Octavia Spencer. Howard, Howard, are you trying to gaslight him? No, I just thought he was right. Oh, you did? I, I, I've, I've never seen any of those movies. You just sounded confident. I'm going to be very yep. honest. If you said Fiola Davis, I was going to make her a joke Those about are... uh, not seeing color, but you guys got it right. So, okay. NBA <laughs> snipers. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Kyles of the NBA. He stole the NBA. NBA charge. All right, listen, we got a double. We have no choice. Oh, I thought it was going to be about racists in the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be about like Myers Leonard. <laughs> you know? Even better. 
So you just said his name. Well, they're going to phone Steven. That was a good clause. Okay, here's the deal. We that, have, was, I, that was my genuine thought. We yeah. have to get both of our remaining questions right because they're not missing this because they're going to phone Steven and he's going to know it. So let's just keep that in mind. We got to get both of those. We're going to lose. So we should double, right? No, we are doubling. I'm just saying. Wait, 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 wait. All right, wait. Or we could phone a friend here and then... And then double like, question mark? Double hockey. Yes. Yeah. No, uh, it's it's gonna be a non-sports question, but it could be it could be important. like we're not very good at like music and stuff. Yeah, I guess we I guess we double here. We have to double. I bet it's fucking food, knowing Neil. <laughs> it's better than music for us, probably. You just call him fat. Okay, you guys. No, are he just right? loves food categories. He, to be okay. fair, when Will made the category team category like stats, she I did ask. Will made us add a food category. <laughs> food is a big trivia category. We should have more of it. It's like it's not my fault the Chicago guys eat like fucking skyline chili and. God knows what. That's just Cincinnati. <laughs> okay. Yeah, either way, whatever. Same oh, yeah, difference. Right. Okay, look balls. by balls. Your question. Balls are wise. Two points. And to uh, take the lead for the moment. This career, 38.3% three-point shooter, began his career playing for Orlando and New Orleans before signing a four-year $80 million deal with the Rockets. I have a pretty good guess. Is it Jameer Nelson? No. Okay. Well, now okay, Jameer Nelson would have gotten four eighty. Can, uh, I, can, I, can I throw out a name? Yeah, throw Maybe initials. Good. Throw initials. Oh no, it's not uh, CP. No. <laughs> not okay. Quals, what do you think? I think it's I think it's Eric Gordon, <laughs> but that was literally like a question that we got last week because he's on the Clippers now. But well, that would have nothing to do with this. So why does it matter? Typical fucking. I, don't know, I guess you're yeah. right, but. I because I I'm almost positive he was on New Orleans. I don't remember him on the Magic, but he was on the Rockets, and he was a big part of their years when he was like really good. Okay, um, I have another guest that's like a sharpshooter, but he was in the Magic, but it's like really obscure. He wouldn't have gotten eighty million dollars. Okay, all right, just go for it. We'll have to trust you. All right, uh, Eric Gordon, final. That's it. That is incorrect. Oh shit! I thought that Eric was right. Gordon. That's what I was thinking the whole time. Oh fuck! Anybody um, else, Austin? Just random. No, that's my my mind instantly went to Eric just a Gordon. shooter for the Rockets. Uh, uh fuck it. No, Clint Capella was a big dude. Uh, Hell no, he's not shooting threes. Get his ass. I don't down know. Line. I don't know. I'm just, just trying to come up with out. Rockets that it would have been on a big deal. Uh, fucking. I I can't even think of anybody. Uh, Chris Paul then. Okay. I don't think that's who Noah meant by CP, but this right? is his counterpart. It is Ryan Anderson. I fucking oh, knew I, I, was that. Chan- I was thinking Chandler Ryan Parsons. Anderson. The, was, the contract I, part was because like he busted like massively. Yeah. I knew I know so, I so, so did Chandler Parsons, which is why they're mixing around. He did, he did. But, but the Orlando and uh New Orleans, like he was he played really well with Orlando and New Orleans and then just Okay, so I'm I have much. I should have thought of that. Oh, he meant Cliff Paul. Wait, okay. is it a one? It was a one point game. <laughs> it was a one point game in Hive Mind's favor right now. Okay, so at least we don't lose here. Okay, this point guard was is or was forty point seven percent on three pointers throughout his career, which primarily took place in Toronto before moving to the Knicks after short stints in Detroit and Dallas. So Detroit and Dallas between Toronto and. Okay, so we're using the clock for sure. But yeah. any thoughts, Austin? I'm trying to think of Nick's point guards. I'm almost positive I know this, but it doesn't matter. Guys who primarily spent their career in Toronto. Roughly on the same level as Ryan Anderson, or whatever that guy's name was. So not like Grady. I don't know. We're going to phone a friend, right? You think Austin? Like, we're not yeah. going to All right. So, yeah, we're going to call Steven. Okay. Using their phone a friend. Let's see if he lives up to his name. Steven, you're on the clock. Yeah, I think this is Jose Calderon. Yeah. All right. Then oh, we're going to go yeah, with Jose Calderon. For the answer. He bails them out and gives them a two-point lead. Steven's going money. into the final oh, round. Yeah, you have that? I actually, I did not know, but it's what? Kind of... All right, we're not doubling the NBA anymore. I had that. I thought it was easy. So, Qualls right, well. <laughs> misses an NBA question once and it's over. It's just over. The margin for error on my team is zero. <laughs> it actually is zero. 
Okay. okay, well, it can be not zero if you don't oh, you know every Notable names in yeah. science. Ugh. Notable names in science. I'll specify biology. It's like high school. It, you will have heard of all, all right. of all like biology. biology. Send the questions, Neil. Okay, so look my Paul says our phone a friend uh, that they might want to use here. Uh, your question. What is the name of the following equation? Well, again, it's the answer is going to be someone's name or, yeah, uh, used to determine the frequency of genotypes in a given population. That's the equation. Uh, GG's. Yeah. Um, uh, do you guys want like an actual guess? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Punnett? I think these are like Punnett squares. Ooh. But that's a, those are squares. This is an equation. And yeah. I mean, it could still be Punnett. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you multiply P, P plus Q times P plus Q, so P plus Q squared, that's what you get, Qualls. You ever take a math class? <laughs> No, 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 no. How do you feel about calling Molly here? She's asleep. At 10 foot. Yeah, it's not. It's actually kind of late. At 10 uh, kind of late. Uh, Qualls, I have bad news. You're like six. You know who we need to call? I, I could say no. something really fucked up, but I don't want to. Okay. Uh, what about what about Sean or Polly now? Uh, we can call. We can call Sean. Yeah, call Sean. Need something. We're gonna, we're gonna phone our friend Sean. Yeah, call Sean. Okay. 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 Call on Sean. I don't think Sean's going to answer. Certified science, guys. Would that have been over the line if I had said Tom Sharon or... No, Ashley talks jokes about how Tom is dead all the time. Oh, Ashley, right. you know him. I'm That's calling Sean. <laughs> this league needs more certified science guys that are awake. Neil, are you a certified science guy? Yeah, I was all a right. bio major. Yo, Sean. Ethan, Ethan would be too. Trivia. Ethan would have known both of these. But All right, so the, the, game, the category so. is notable names in science. And the question is, what is the name of the following equ uh, equation used to determine the frequency of genotypes in a given population? P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared. I'm thinking pun it. What do you think? What is the name of the following equation used to determine the frequency of genotypes in a given population? P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared. We name after scientists. Yeah. Pun it? It's, it's, it's a person, I think. Sean says maybe. 10 seconds. Yeah, 10 yes. seconds, Sean. Yes. Good, Sean. Five. Yeah. We got a guess, boys. Um, okay, All right. you're out of time. That's time, time, Sean. Thanks, man. God, fuck. You just, you just know that... Uh, here, there you go. There's your... There's your Sean Foley seconds. was asleep, but like... Holy was asleep like two minutes ago. Okay. Um, <laughs> I I think we go with punt it. Yeah, yeah we're final gonna, answer. There's no chance we're right. To keep their season, their undefeated season alive. This is oh. incorrect. Other oh. side. Yo, how do we feel about Gregor Mendel? The, the guy with the well, teams? I know. Yeah, no, it's definitely Mendelian genetics, but I don't know if it's just off like the Mendelian equation. M Mendel's I equation. I almost think he's like too old to like have an equation, though. You know. I think that's a thing, though. I think I've heard that. I wouldn't have known that without He's you guys. He's a father but in genetics, I'm sure that's but a thing. I think it's I, Mendel. Yeah. yeah, I would say it's Mendel. We're gonna go with that final answer. That is also incorrect. Uh, this would be the Hardy Weinberg equation. Oh, Hardy Weinberg equation. I thought you were about to say Hardy. John, Weinberg. Sean, Sean texted me that answer twenty-five seconds after he. Oh, oh my. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, well, when, go when, we call, when we team, when we phone a friend, someone. You call them, they answer a normal phone call, and then you say, trivia phone a friend, can I FaceTime you? And then you FaceTime them so they can see yeah, the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would oh game the shit the dude. fuck out of it. I would game the shit the fuck out of it, too. I would just take some time to, like, get them alert. Okay. Uh, hi, fine. your question. The discovery of DNA's double helix structure is usually attributed to Watson and Crick. However, it is this woman's revolutionary work with x-rays that showcases 3D structure of DNA. Rosalind Franklin, right? Oh man. Yeah. I think you're right. It's um, Rosalind Franklin. You guys go That's, ahead. Rosalind Franklin. Right. Rosalind Franklin is correct. This game ends with a three point victory on Hive Mind side. Uh, this is the first loss for Lick My Claws. Uh, let me just do next week's stuff. Next week now, because I had it <laughs> fucked up last week. Lick My Claws is playing against the illest. Who are currently at two and six, and Hive Mind is playing 
a four and four team chop house for next week, but you guys have the rest of the week to get your stuff in. Uh, Matt, or anybody from Look My Calls, would you guys like to say anything? No. Okay. Uh, hi, mind. Anything to say? <laughs> um, matchups. That's all it is. Seems like we match up well against uh, LMQ. Um, four game winning streak. High minds rolling. Don't ever doubt us. And uh, specifically for you, Neil, uh, balls in your court in terms of this division because I think we just took the lead after being bottom of the table for like the entire I think season. We're so tied. Far, so. We're tied right now. And if we, we got win, five wins. Yeah. You don't. That's all I'm saying. We do. What are you talking? Oh, you do. We, we, oh, we don't. Do we? we got to. Yeah, you yeah, have a game in hand. Five and three. You are in first. Yeah, yeah we're five. Oh, never mind. We're five and three. I thought, I yeah, thought they were yeah, four and four. Yeah, I'm talking too much shit. And we have a right, bye well, week because we're playing Sanduskies. So okay. Well, okay. you're also gonna win. Uh, so good game, everybody. This this full 